Police reinstated Jake Davison's gun license weeks before he went on to murder five people before committing suicide, it has emerged. Comments unavailable Davison, 22, killed his mother and four other people in the Keyham area of Plymouth on Thursday. Davison First obtained a gun license in 2018 but Devon and Cornwall police suspended the killer's license in December 2020. Over concerns about his suitability to hold a weapon. The Independent Office for Police Conduct will now examine the extent to which officers considered Davison's mental health condition and restoring his license after receiving a mandatory referral. The mandatory referral is said to contain preliminary information regarding the killer's license status. The IOPC confirmed Davison's license had been revoked in December following an allegation of assault in September 2020. But reports now suggest Davison's license was Restored in July after the incel went on an anger management course. David Ford, regional director of the police watchdog, said the imminent referral will also address police contact with Jake Davison prior to the incident, including the force's role and actions regarding firearms licensing. We will examine what police actions were taken and when, the rationale behind police decision making, and whether relevant law. Policy and procedures were followed concerning Mr. Davison's possession of a shotgun, he added. The Prime Minister has called on the IOPC to ensure it has properly investigated how Davison was able to legally own the firearm. Boris Johnson said, without prejudging the investigation into what happened in Plymouth. I think that what I can say at this stage is my thoughts are very much with the families of all those who have tragically lost their lives in an absolutely appalling incident. The point you raise is a valid one but it needs to be properly investigated and gone into. And I think I would just pay tribute to the police and emergency services for the speed and the promptness with which they handled it. It has been reported that there will be no investigation into how Devon and Cornwall police responded to the incident. The police received calls to an address on Biddick Drive at 6.11 p.m. Armed and unarmed officers arrived at the scene just six minutes later.